Good evening, guys. Well, police tell us that the next morning, this 14-year-old girl went and told her parents, and they say this isn't a she said, he said situation because apparently one of these suspects videotaped the entire thing. Sergeant Joe Monson says it all started on Snapchat. We had a 14-year-old uh, female girl who um, made connection with a, uh, a male on social media. He said the teens started talking to one of these two men, ages 24 and 21, and agreed to sneak out late at night to go party with them. They started to party throughout the night. Some alcohol was involved, and uh, she ended up being being assaulted. According to Monson, the two men, the teen, and a third man stopped at a hookah bar and a house party on September 9th, and then pulled off into a parking lot. One of the suspects shot a cell phone video of the two men allegedly having sex with the victim in the back seat. The police report says the victim appears to be unresponsive through most of the video, but does make feeble attempts to push the person on top of her off. It appears the victim is passed out and or unconscious throughout most of the video and clearly cannot give consent to anything that is happening to her. The two men now face aggravated kidnapping, rape, forcible sodomy, sexual exploitation of a minor, and aggravated sexual assault charges. Tonight, we knocked on the suspect's door. This family just wants to be left alone, okay. and we're going to you know, try to call attorneys around. We showed the picture to a neighbor. Uh, yeah. yeah. She said they live next door for sure and believe the family were refugees from the Congo, having lived here now for three years. She said teenagers hang around the home frequently, the house sitting only a few blocks away from Cottonwood Heights High School. I've always questioned that because all the high school, there's like a hole in the fence back there, and there's lots of traffic here throughout the day. And you may have heard from that report right there that there was a third man inside that car. We have not heard any word yet from police on whether there might be charges coming to whoever that person might be. They also said tonight they want to let parents know something that kind of seems like a, a no-brainer, of course, but they want to let them know again. If your kids are using social media, it's a good idea to keep an eye on what they're using. This particular time, this girl, this 14-year-old girl, was talking to a 21 or 24-year-old guy through Snapchat. They say, parents, go through your kids' phones, have an idea what they're what they're using and what they're and who they're talking to uh, there on social media here in West Jordan Jeff McAdam Fox 13 News Utah